Hey, what's up YouTube? Leo Shane here, host of the Extreme Fellow Fishing Channel. Uh, today, I'm bringing you guys here a, a video that is a little bit different than my usual format, okay? This is actually a compilation video, <laughs> alright? So, uh, a lot of subscribers, a lot of folks tend to believe that us, fishing YouTubers, right? We are successful every time we go out on the water, right? I mean, people really think that every time we go out and we go fishing, we just catch a lot of fish and get enough footage for videos, which in reality is not true, okay? Although you come to my channel here, Extreme Fellow Fishing, and you watch all my videos, it is good for you to know that there have been plenty of times that I went out there exploring and fishing and doing the multi-species fishing. And in the end, I couldn't get enough footage to make a full, complete fishing video of that place. So this is, this is what I decided to do. I decided to just get a little bit of footage from here, a little bit of footage from there, put everything together, like different fishing adventures together, and make a, a, a few compilation videos, okay? So this is what this is about. Uh, this compilation video is going to be divided into two parts. This is part one. In this video, I will cover three different adventures. One was at an named pond in Pensalken, Cinnaminson. Uh, my brother-in-law and I tried for Northern Snakehead and it never worked out. So that video didn't go online, never made it to YouTube. Uh, second video, uh, we went to Lake Nokamixon. Actually, not exactly Lake Nokamixon. We went to the Tahikon Creek, okay, in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. And uh, the goal for the day was to catch a musky lunge. Never happened, so the video didn't go online also. And the uh, third, third one in this video is actually, is actually flatheading on the Schuylkill River. Uh, I did catch a few good flathead catfish from the Schuylkill River, However, 60% of the footage was in the dark, okay? So it's like, can't see anything. So, <laughs> so you know, that video also didn't make it to YouTube. So I have compiled all three of them in one. This is part number one. I will try to upload part number two in a few days, okay? So enjoy it, okay? And hey, those fish, they deserve some recognition at least, right? So enjoy it and tie lines. There we go. First fish of the day. Large mouth bass. Oh my life, sunny. My goodness, this large mouth bass. This large mouth bass has some injuries here too. Right on this side of the mouth. All right. First large mouth bass from the unnamed lake here. Look at this, bro. Yeah. Nah, this is some. This is some kind of illness, my friend. Is it? Yeah. I mean, infection from maybe previous person who caught it and didn't know how to unhook. Could be natural cause, I don't know, but it looks nasty. All right, let's take a photo of it. Quick photo, quick release. There we go, small fella. Yeah, all right, there we go. Ready to go. Whoa! You got a fish there, bro. You got a fish there. Is it on? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's on, man. Is it big? Oh, you gotta <laughs> be kidding me, man. <laughs> Alright, man. You know, small one counts. All right, the count of one from a whoa, the count of one from a brother-in-law here. Hello. Oh my God, what happened to all the big snake heads and the big bass? You know, sad. You no, know, it is a beautiful pumpkin seed. All right, I'm not sure if I ever caught a pumpkin seed here yet, so I'm gonna take a photo of it. Oh my brother-in-law, he's happy catching the sun. This is a beautiful pumpkin seed too. Alright, pumpkin seeds from Steel Lake in Cinnaminson, New Jersey. Alright, final view, you guys, for you guys. Beautiful colors. 
Alright, this fella gets to be released to live another day. Alright. There we go. Gone. Alright fellas, so I'm here down Lake Nakamixon. Uh place actually looks brutal, much much different than what I expected. Uh, water levels seem to be extremely low, spillway is not working, so you know the water here is actually very shallow. I'm gonna fish here just for a little bit, my brother-in-law is actually walking towards over there to see if there is a deeper area over there or not and if not you know pretty much we're gonna move up to lake nakamixon and not stay here at the tahikon creek we will see how it goes there are some movements here and there there seem to be fish so i'm gonna give a couple casts just to see if there's anything around but eventually i want to move towards that side you guys see towards that side over there where they have that little vegetation there Hopefully over there is a little bit deeper. I don't know. Right. Let's see what different types of sunnies are here in this place. Should be something a little bit bigger too. Okay, first fish of the day. What we got here. Very small red breast sunfish from this Tahikon Creek below Lake Nakamixon. First species of the day. As you guys can see, I had to resort to micro fishing over here because the water level is just so low. Definitely not what I expected. So I got a very small hook here, a size eight with a piece of night crawler with my noodle rod today, the Cortland Endurance knife feet. Right, fish on. What we got here? Are you serious? Second species of the day. <laughs> a golden shiner. Dude, a golden shiner. Oh, whoa, whoa. Thankfully, it fell in the water. Whew. Active little guy. That's a beautiful sample, too. Perfect bait size, actually. Golden shiner, man, from the Tahikon Creek beautiful let me take a photo of this it's been a good while since i've caught a golden shiner actually so you know that's actually amazing yeah there we go beautiful golden shiner sample and as a matter of fact this golden shiner i'm saving for beige folks golden shiner has oils that are very similar to those of an american hickory geezer shad so they're awesome for bigger fish I'm saving this as bait for later today because I'll very likely be moving to the main lake. So there you go, Golden Shiner. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go back to speed. All right, what we got here? Third species of the day, your average bluegill, Lepomis macrocerus. Micro fishing here at the Tahikan Creek, right below Lake Nakamixon. I will have to move up to Lake Nakamixon now because this place sucks. And when I say sucks, I mean, you know, there is no water flow. Water level has been very low, no rain at all this year, so probably because of that. All right, we're finally getting here in front of the spillway. This seems to be the deepest part around here, definitely. So ho hopefully there are some fish around here, you know. 
I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. This is definitely deeper than back there. But like I said, no water flowing from Lake Nakamixon over here. Well, hopefully there's a muskie around here still, even though the water is so stale. We'll see. I may throw a couple lures, see what's going on. All right, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm telling you, there's gotta be a muskie around here. Okay. Second bluegill of the day, getting a little bit bigger. At least we know that there are some, there is some life here at the spillway that connects Lake Nokamixon with the Tahikon Creek. All right. Let's try to catch a muskie, please. Oh, holy shit. A muskie. 40 inch musky. Dude, I, I, I didn't I didn't see where it went to. 40 inch musky. Yeah, I, I am not joking. It was right over here, dude. I saw the fish. Big, very big. It does. If I had a minnow right over here in front, I may have gotten a bite, man. All right, came with a bunch of different of green stuff here, but we got our fourth species of the day. Ow, and my finger too, ouch. Phew, got my finger too, see that? Ah, the hook was inside the green stuff. See, freaking unbelievable, huh? Gotta be careful now. All right, we got our green sunfish here, Lepomis cyanellus. Take a photo of this fish, this fourth species of the day. Red breast sunfish, bluegill, golden shiner, now a green sunfish. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch any big species yet, although I did see a 40 inch muskie right around this area earlier today. He came out, ambushed the fish, you know, and just, you know, swam away. Whew. So, you know, hopefully, I'll be able to land. A few bigger fish for you guys to see, hopefully some new species. is so heavy I can barely feel the fish bite. All right, come on. I need bait. The fish is on. I know it. It's heavier than it's supposed to be. Bluegill. Please be a bluegill so I can chop it up. It's going to be the first fish of the day. I need chop bait. Come on, come on, bluegill. Come up, bluegill. Oh, man. Well, first fish of the day is a young channel catfish. Talurus punctatus, all right, very, very pretty little channel catfish. And as much as I didn't want to, I will chop this catfish up. It's going to be bait, you know, I can't wait to catch other types of fish. There's gonna have to be bait. So let me just take a photo for my records. Let me flip it over, where's the sun? Let me flip it to this side. Okay. 
Hey, little channel cat. It's gotta be chop it up for beige. Oh yeah. Whoa, got a bite here. Yeah, get a Bowser Metallica. Folks, highly recommend it. Fish on. <laughs> and I got to land a fish too. That's great. Let's see what is coming up here. Very small, hopefully new species. Oh man. Another little channel catfish. Nothing new, nothing new. This one's going back though. I'm not gonna save it as bait or anything. Fish number two of the day. Gotta be very careful with spectral fins. Spectral fins of this little baby here can be brutal. All right, bye bye. All right, we'll be back if we catch anything different or anything big. <laughs> All right, quick update. I got about 15 channel catfish so far all the size of my hand it's gotten very very breezy folks so you know when you when the wind comes and it gets chilly like this you know rain is coming look at the clouds very very different than, than when we first came right kind of gray over here so yeah we know it is going to rain that's why i said at the beginning of the video i chose this bridge specifically for this purpose if it rains I'm gonna run right under that bridge. So yeah, 15 channel catfish so far, nothing different, no new species. Still awaiting the big bite. Hopefully we will land some bigger fish. I'll keep you guys updated. What we got here? Aha! Uh -huh. Second species of the day. Jumbo bluegill from the Schuylkill River. From the known title of Schuylkill River. <laughs> Pretty big too, actually. You know, I kind of thought it was weird that I got snagged right away, you know, right after casting, because I'm not supposed to get snagged there. There we go. All right, beautiful. Something different than the regular channel catfish. Right, let me take a photo of it. Oh boy, that was a bad photo. Beautiful. All right, let this guy go. At least. Yep. of the day little green sunfish I'm gonna take a photo for my records and this is gonna be my new live beige for my other rod no more cut beige it's time to go live with this little green sunfish perfect species number three green sunfish live beige green sunfish This is a live sun, it don't disappoint me. It's full of trash. Fish on. Finally. On the live on the live green sunfish finally finally i finally saw my broad move no but why does it feel why does it feel so oh did i lose it i lost it first bite of the day man live sunny 
lost the fish right in front of me wow green sunfish got whacked check that out wow all right time to catch another bait you know let's put some cut bait on this one for now and see what happens yeah finally a proper a decent bite it didn't feel big though so you know i don't feel so too bad about losing this fish let me cast that fish out for now wait for next bite All right, fish on, fish on, fish on, folks. Finally, a decent bite here on the Skugu River. Finally, and it didn't come on my heavy action too, it came on my noodle rod. So let's play this guy safe this time. My drag is not too close, you know. It's gonna play slow. Seems to be a nice fish. If it is not, that means there's a lot of trash on my rod. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I can't lose this fish. I can't afford to lose this fish, man. I already lost two, three bites. You know? Can't lose it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Pulled a little bit of drag. Gotta play slow because I'm using 12 pounds test line. As you guys know, I like to go light for the challenge and this is actually the challenge, you know. I don't know how big this fish is yet, but I'm not gonna risk it too much. I don't know if it's a channel or flathead catfish yet. It's not big, it's not big. I really wish it was bigger though. Come on, come up. There we go. Eh, I would, I don't know, in the range of maybe, we will see, we will measure it. Better than nothing. Small one. First flat head of the day. Come up here. Okay. All right, let's see how big this guy is. Whack my sonny. Take this hook out. May use my pliers, need my pliers here. Okay, small one, but small one, we still take it. There we go, first fly ahead of the day. Let's take a photo of it and release it. <laughs> yeah, small one though. I would say in the range of uh, four, four pounds or so. Let's see how big you are. Six pounds. So there you go, fellas. Final view. Six pounder. First one of the night. Flathead. All right. And that's it. Hopefully, we we'll catch a bigger one. 